Nine former high school football players have been charged with hazing and other crimes in Northumberland County. Investigators say the incident happened in 2020 and involved members of the Mount Carmel area high school football team. Newswatch 16's Nikki Cries live for us tonight in Mount Carmel. Nikki. Scott and Lisa, the state attorney general's office has been looking into these hazing allegations for more than two years. Investigators say the alleged hazing happened in 2020 at the home of one of the football team's former captains. The Pennsylvania Attorney General's Office announced it has filed charges against nine former football players from the Mount Carmel Area School District. Investigators say those football players were involved in a hazing incident in 2020. Here's what authorities say happened. Players were invited to the home of Mount Carmel Area Team Captain Reed Witowski to watch game footage. During the watch party, Witowski, Damon Daukis, and other team members burned the new starting players with lit burn burning sticks and sparklers as part of an informal initiation. Now, two years later, the state attorney general's office has charged nine former players in connection with the incident. Witowski, Daukis, and another person who was a juvenile at the time are charged with hazing, simple assault, and intimidation of a victim. Tyler Owens, Michael Balachik, and four others who were juveniles at the time have been charged with hazing and criminal conspiracy to commit hazing. The Mount Carmel Area School District cut the football team's 2020 season short because of these hazing allegations. District Superintendent Pete Cheddar said since these allegations, Mount Carmel has put a number of responses in place. For example, all student athletes must now complete a hazing informational course once each school year. Cheddar said, quote, our district plan will be to work collaboratively as a learning community to do whatever is necessary necessary to best support a safe and welcoming environment both in the classroom and on the athletic field. According to parents we spoke with here in the Mount Carmel Area School District, two of the juveniles charged are still students at the high school and played football this past season. Nikki Cries, Newswatch 16, live in Northumberland County.